Hello there. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to today's final final video. We're going to have a look at whether the 10th to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 14th of May, which means today is the 4th of May. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, and, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, we're going to have a look at whether that 10, 14 days. Uh, so, day time takes to the 14th of May. And we'll be able to send out beyond that. Get back on the script, Gav. We'll be able to send out beyond that with the Exergy FS and ECF ensembles. Maybe we'll try in a couple of weeks. And we'll have a look at the ECFS B2 at the end of the next four weeks. That will get to the end of May. And uh, I shall get on about for you in a moment. <laughs> Just to say that the first the video say was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. And we've also released uh, the European outlook as well. Check out those two videos. If you like to do that, like, share, subscribe on videos. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you so much for being amazing, Richard Trot, for the lovely, 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 lovely wonderful um uh, may before be with you gift a star wars day gift thank you so much rich i love it may the force be with you i don't know do you i'm trying to see uh, what i know what all of those are from all of those i know what where all of those films are from let me know in the comments if you can name all uh, nine boxes, uh, the films that they're from, and what the scenes are. And I know, you know, Gav knows, Gav knows, Gav knows. <laughs> if you if you know all nine of those boxes, you are a real OG Star Wars fan. That's, uh, you know, no get away from that. You're a proper OG Star Wars fan. Uh, thank you so much, Rich. Thank you so much, my friend, for the uh, Star Wars Day gift. Right, OK. Hey, let's crack on then with our tenter ball team there. Shall we do it? Why not do it? Let's do it. Um, and uh, <laughs> let's crack on. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. It's nice today, isn't it? Lovely and sunny. Warm as well. Nice, nice bit of breeze. It's a lovely, lovely late spring day. I'm off to the gym later. I want to have uh, my uh, a session with my personal trainer, Jack. My lovely personal trainer. <laughs> so uh, I hope that I'm still alive by the end of the afternoon. <laughs> right, OK. Let's start off with CT then. Central Intemporary currently sitting at 11.9, which is 0.8 of a degree uh, above the 61 to 1990 average. These are the GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles that cover a couple of weeks. On the Gloucester today, the red line is the first year upper air temperature average for Gloucester. We're starting off above average at the moment. We'll stay above average for the rest of the week into the uh, coronation weekend. Next week, though, Looks like we're going to see those upper air temperatures dipping backwards. Uh, so the upper air temperature will start to uh, lower, I think, as we go into uh, next week. Only return to average. I don't know anything cold. And then beyond that, you know, just seem quite close to average. So no sign of anything desperately hot. No sign of anything particularly cool or cold. Uh, just like have quite a warm start and then we revert close to average. It looks unsettled as well from beginning to end of the ensemble. Really, You've got to drive over the rest of today, but from tomorrow on, we'll shout to come back. And then really, you know, for the next week, 10 days anyway, it looks reliably unsettled. At the into second half of the uh, month, so into the uh, final part of the graph, we might see a little bit of a drying trend then, but overall it does look quite unsettled in the, uh, in the next um, a week or two, to be honest. Uh, right, temperature knowledge shall be 4 to 12 of May. I'm going to be close to or ever so, ever so slightly above average. Precipitation anomalies from the 4 to 12 of May. They're coming out near north. It's a bit wetter than average for more western regions. Related wind flow map from Earth North School. Dark Nair shows up bringing easterly winds today, but low pressure in the Atlantic is edging closer to us. So ahead of that low, we have got wind in from the uh, east, however. Nice springs today, uh, tempering the, uh, the, the uh, late spring sunshine. 
Right, so let's go through the chart data. Let me see how led you to make your run. It's looking for big night on Sunday. Low pressure in the ascendancy. Looks showery into the bank holiday weekend. Through the open next week, another low comes moving in from off the Atlantic. That will bring further showers along as well as rain through bank holiday Monday and into Tuesday. And then the rest of next week, you can make your run looking rather showery and a little bit on the cool side as well. With winds coming in from the northwest. ICOM, again, has like an area of low pressure from low pressure. Low pressure across the country on uh, Sunday. But it's actually sunny, so that looks rather showery. Uh, Say so you unsettled, showery into uh, next week as well. Low pressure, never far away. Uh, and winds in from the northwest as well, so quite cool and showery conditions there. The GFS midnight run uh, looking like this. So again, rather showery for the coronation uh, weekend. On into next week, looks a little bit mixed as well. Second half of next week, just built up as a slight transient bridge from southwest, but uh, to the north of that, we keep the uh, uh, jet stream and the areas of low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. Quite deep areas of low pressure there. Saturday the 13th, that looks very unsettled. Uh, and another one, actually, on the 14th. So that could be a very unsettled weekend if the deep lows come on. Uh, 13th, 14th of May, mid-month, mid could bring some uh, very wet weather indeed. Uh, beyond that, so it's rather cool and showery into the second half of month. Just signs of high pressure trying to ridge in from the Atlantic at the end of GFS midnight run. But it still keeps us on the cool side of the ridge so with wind still in from the northwest and still looking quite showery then. The GFS 6 set again, is looking rather showery through the remainder of the weekend and into next week. We keep those showers coming across the coast. So it's increasingly unsettled actually through next week. Quite deep low pressures digging in from the west or from the northwest. The jet stream you see in south as well. So cool, showery, unsettled dishes all the way up to day 10. Beyond that, just to, it does turn a little bit drier down in south as it's real. It's just really dry to build up from the southwest. So it does turn a little bit uh, drier down in south. But overall, still quite cool, still quite showery. See so winds back in from the north again there on the 18th of May, actually. So all looking very mixed. High pressure to the west, low pressure to the east. The winds often coming from the west or the northwesterly. Uh, direction. If you're enjoying this video, and well, why wouldn't you be? Please do you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, thank you uh, so much, everyone, for 10 friends a pound to subscribe as well. That's amazing. It's incredible. Thank you so much for doing that. We need to put on around another 50 subscribers to get ourselves to um, 15.8k. So please give us a sub. Uh, give us our last 50. And we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Sorry, everybody. It's Star Wars Day, but you can't have a bit of joy on the face on Star Wars Day, right? Okay, here we go to GM. And again, we're rather showery over the uh, course of the Coronation Weekend. Next week, increasingly uncertain. We're all pushing him from off the Atlantic shelves and all lots of spells of rain up towards days 8, 9, 10. High pressure trying to build back in from southwest, but not really successfully so. Uh, number one sister coming through here at Daytown. She's certainly the 14th of May. That's been showing rain samples. It was across the country. And that is followed by uh, plenty of showers and quite cool air from the northwest. And then the ECM once more looking rather showery over the coronation weekend. Into next week, quite unsettled too, with low pressure, never all that far away. So, winds in for west from the northwest, showery conditions pushing through uh, the country, areas of low pressure, shuttle areas of low pressure, never all that far away. So, it really is looking quite cool and showery there with the ECM all the way up to data. This is my precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. The first of showers arriving in the southwest right now, pushing north to east so overnight tonight. Plenty of showers across the country tomorrow. Then we go through it into Saturday, Coronation Day, with rain moving up from south, looks rather damp, and uh, sorry for itself, Coronation, I have to say, a little bit drier uh, on a uh, sunny bit of a weather window, Ben, but only had the next low coming in, bringing lots of wet weather in from off Atlantic overnight Sunday into back Holiday Monday, and Monday looks really unsettled with heavy rain followed by uh, blustery showers, and then through the rest of next week, it really is uh, looking showery, showers, long as well as rain, never far away. 
Um, you know, it just looks very mixed there all the way up to day 10. Meantime, the October top of the table within the ECM on follow today for day 10. From I say, May Thomas gets to the 14th of May. 22 members of the ECM on Thomas have high pressure to our southwest. Low pressure is to our north northwest. All winds are coming in from off the Atlantic from uh, the west or from the uh, northwest. So rather cool and showery. That one, 15 with high pressure reaching up from the uh, southwest. So things a little bit drier there, perhaps by day 10, but still quite cool with the wind direction in from the east of the northeast. And uh, 14 with high pressure down towards France, low pressure into the north of Scotland, and winter coming in from the west direction. The driest, warmest weather we've had is himself. The most of the dishes are up in the door, and it all looks rather mixed. And then in two week time, <laughs> these are the options that we've got. It gets to the 19th of May. Uh, 17 members of the ECM on with blow pressure over to the east of the country, cool and showery winds in from a northwesterly type direction. 11 with low pressure to the east, high pressure out to the west, and winds again coming in from a northwesterly type direction. 10 with high pressure to our southwest, reaching up from the southwest, could bring something a little bit drier and warmer into south. However, most parts of the country rather cool and showery. 7 with high pressure to the north of Scotland, around that winds coming in from the east, mostly dry and probably quite warm with that. And then six with low pressure right over the top of the country, combined with high pressure blocking around uh, the northern latitudes. That's the coldest and wettest scenario. And in fact, that could be very wet with that air of low pressure parked over southern England and northern parts of France, but only six going in that direction. Just have a look. A quick look at the CFSB2, and then we're done. So, it's a 500 millibar height and lines break down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 4th, start of the day, to the 10th of May, with low pressure to the west and northwest, high pressure to the south and southwest. And winds are coming in from off the Atlantic rather like that. Week 2 is going to be the 11th to the 17th of May, high pressure again, reaching in from the southwest to the north, low pressure is over France, winds are coming in from an easterly direction, with that most of the dishes are probably in the south, week three is going to be the 18th to the 24th of May, with high pressure around Italy, low pressure down on Spain, and high pressure in the Atlantic, bit of a mixed bag, but the upshot is probably a little bit drier, and uh, slightly warmer in that week. And then lastly, oops, lastly, uh, week four will be the 25th to the 31st of May, month's end, with low pressure over Scandinavia and down towards Spain, high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic and across the eastern southeastern part of Europe. That's going to bring warmth up the eastern side of Europe, but I reckon we'd be getting cool northwesterly or northerly winds there, potentially unsettled and uh, cool end to May. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, if you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe, thank you so much everybody for that, drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos, and don't get to your friends about Gals Web, it's amazing, it's incredible, thank you so much everybody uh, for uh, doing that. Let's just go back to our Star Wars Day gift from Richard, you know what uh, all of the uh, films are there, the uh, nine boxes, let me know in the uh, comments, I'll uh, tell you otherwise tomorrow and if anybody gets it right then, uh, you know, I'll give you a shout out in tomorrow, 10 to 14 day, how does that sound? Thank you so much Rich for the sub gift and for the Star Wars Day gift Right, just to tell you what's coming up tomorrow we're going to have the 6am UK Web World Cards, we'll have Jeremy Friday but will be a 10 to 14 day ahead for you as well tomorrow, so a lot going on on the channel, please keep checking back for more Um, but for this video and for today's videos, that's all for now and uh, thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of your Star Wars Day, may the be with you and uh, bye for now.